previously on Balls. How's it? It's Darren and the team from Balls. How are you feeling? I'm very well, thanks, Darren. You're well. You guys are all sounding like you had a really, really mm-hmm. long session yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> was tough, eh? Yeah, because uh, we were speaking to uh, Dion already and he said, yeah, you guys had a big long video video session yesterday at the at the, at the Camps Bay, Bay Hotel there. Yeah, in-depth uh, match review. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what time did it finish, Matt? Jeez, I got uh, <clears throat> I got my my left home at about uh, two. Huh? <laughs> the boys are still going. They were still going, or are still going. <laughs> No, um, you might be right. No, yeah, Flecky's right. still there, apparently. Flecky's still going strong. <laughs> yeah, I think his wife has reported him MIA. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. All right, Matt, listen, congrats, buddy, and uh, well done. Gee, it must be an absolute relief for you. Yeah, I was stoked. I just, you know, belief in the plan, and it finally came together. Huh? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it did. Um, everything seemed to go, as we were saying to Dion a little earlier on, it's almost like you took the best of what you're, your early season super rugby form was um, a lot of criticism about not scoring points, not scoring tries. You guys started doing that later on in the season in the Curry Cup, and it, it just looked like a perfect combination of both came together for you guys on Saturday. Yeah, I, yeah, I suppose that's what continuity gives you. You know, you you find out where you're good and where you're not so good, and you know, just putting it together. You know, it finally came uh, came together. But uh, you know, I think the leadership of the side, you know, Jean. Even though he wasn't playing, was there, and mm. the Skalk had been around all season, and you know they gave so much leadership to those young guys. So I think they, you know, the continuity of the plan and and just backing them finally paid off. You know, when those younger guys started picking up a bit of experience, you know, it finally paid off for us. And we, we, at what point in the game, or did you see this as a, as a vulnerability before the game, uh, particularly with a guy like Irvin there? But at which point in the game did you spot? That uh, that that big hole in in the Natal uh, Armory, and that was their line out. Yeah, we did a bit of work. Um, I did a bit of work. I flew down to Durban. I got a house in Ramsgate, and on the flight I did some extra work. You know, I just was a bit bored, and I just did a bit of extra work and identified something and spoke to the boys and said, "Listen, we've got an opportunity. You know, if we can, you know, if we can get up in front." You know, so we did some work. Again on Friday at it, and, and then it paid off. You know, Evans' reaction and you know ability to to sense space is pretty good. You know, and he's such a big target. You know, so I think that created a bit of pressure for us. Yeah, because I mean, literally, uh, it showed just how hamstrung a team can be uh, if that completely uh, implodes, which it did. I mean, you guys basically got their line out to a point where they didn't want to get the ball out. They had no choice. They had to try and keep it in play. But then you guys started. Uh, you know, with Grubbers, uh, Dimitri having an absolutely amazing game. The Grubbers, Grubbers into touch, which you wouldn't normally see. I mean, normally it's like keep retained position, but uh, by the second half, you were backing yourself not only on your own line out, but obviously on theirs as well. Yeah, you know, Darren, I think finals are about pressure. You know, yeah. you, players react funnily under pressure, and that's where errors come from and where opportunities are created. You know, they had us under immense pressure early on at the scrum time, and we always knew that. You know. And, and we just spoke about resilience of, of the set phase. You know, I think finals are about set phases, and if your set phase can be resilient, you know, we learned in 2010 against Victor in the, in the um, Super 50 for Super 14 final. You know, statistically, he's going to steal three or four of yours anyway. You know, mm. If you let yourself get into a downward spiral, uh, you're going to be in trouble. So we just all week spoke about resilience of the set phase. You know, if we win one, great. If we lose one, great. Take some confidence from it and just move on. You know, so I think that was. It was a good philosophy to have, you know. The Sharks pack is a, you know, an unbelievable pack of forwards, and you know, I think we just, um, you know, executed our plan well, you know, and that, that created some opportunity for us. Absolutely, that's exactly what it is. I just want to ask you, as a, as a man who's, who's been coaching forwards and knows what goes on up front there, uh, just to give us your opinion, were you? Um, I mean, in the semi-final, they went up against the Bulls side, the Sharks. Uh, benched some of their, their, their key guys and, and brought them on as impact. I'm talking about Alberts and uh, and Beast, particularly because of the length of season they've had. Now, if, if you were operating with guys, Springboks of that caliber for, for their side, would you have done the same thing in the final? Do you think they did the right thing by unleashing them? Because it, it definitely seemed like uh, they'd lost their, their, their sort of um, their effect and their, their punch in that second half uh, and, and, and try to keep close to you guys and then brought them on in the second half would you have, would you have done that or do you think they did it the right way around no I, I think there's you know there's always you know it's easy to talk retrospectively there and I just think oh. that 
I think any coach, if you've got Beast and Yanni, you're, you're going to pick them. I mean, yeah. they want them on the field for, for as long as possible. You know, two experienced guys up against 21-year-olds. You know, you're not going to allow the 21-year-olds to sit in the game. You want to mm-hmm. take them out the game as early as possible. So, so I think that was, you know, was the, I think actually think it worked for them. You know, I think the scrum uh, in the 22 when they didn't uh, kick at poles uh, and they converted the penalty to a scrum. You know, I think that scrum was a, for our point of view, was a big turning point. You know, they came at us and we were, we, we managed to to hold out. And mm-hmm. I think that gave us a lot of confidence. Yeah. From there, you know. So I think, you know, I think. Finals are about little, little, little battles, and, um, and and that was a little battle. I think emotionally we got over, you know, which was good for us. Absolutely. Well, you must be chuffed, and obviously chuffed at, uh, as you say, those 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 youngsters in that side standing up to the the caliber of player that they were up against. I mean, they weren't overawed at any stage, um, and basically broke them uh, at some point in the game. So that must have been one of the a key moments of pride for you. Yeah, you know, we've been working hard on these young guys, and we copped a lot of criticism and. But, you know, this is the future of, of province rugby. You know, in, in a year's time, these guys are going to be, you know, 40 odd capped for, for the Stormers and, mm. you know, 22, 23 year old. You know, that's when they're going to start paying off. And, you know, we need to keep this, this team together. We need to keep them focused on, on our goals and, you know, keep them hungry. You know, we, we mustn't see this as a, you know, as anything, you know, spectacular. It's a great, great victory. But, uh, you know, we know there's going to be a lot more challenges lying ahead of us. You know, we're still going to be hungry for those challenges. Awesome stuff. Well, Matt, we uh, really chuff for you. Uh, congratulations on uh, on yeah. I mean, just getting that monkey off your backs and getting that trophy. And how long is your uh, your contract with the, with uh, the Stormers and Province still? Have you still got a, a while to go? Or just been renewed? Yeah, just yeah. been renewed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must. I need to go and see Mr. Wagner this afternoon, so I'll, I'll pop in there with. Uh, with a good on my face. Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be a nice, nice atmosphere to go and have that meeting. And I'm sure there'll be, uh, there'll be many more days for you down at uh, at the Stormers and Province as well. Congrats, bud. Nice. Thanks a lot for taking some time out uh, under trying circumstances after yesterday's uh, video session to chat to us today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Darren. I appreciate all the support. Only, only a pleasure, bud. Cheers, man. Cheers. Bye. There we go. Matthew Proudfoot's going back to sleep.